What's up everybody? Welcome to the Dope Channel. <laughs> today, well not today, actually the other day we took my purple truck to the dyno. Spoiler alert, it's not very fast. <laughs> but it runs good. Okay, so anyways, we took it to the dyno and it made good power for I what it, it is. I think it made what it should have. Yeah, I mean, based it, on it the has, dyno numbers. Yeah, and it has 22s on it. And it's kind of heavy and it has 342 gears and it's not you know designed to go fast or anything so i think it did all right we i think we were anticipating a little higher numbers yes. based off of what we've seen on the internet stuff like that but if it's on the internet it must be true that's right so you never you never know um but it still did okay i think it burns the tires off pretty it's, good it roasts them <laughs> effortlessly it, yeah. it's amazing it made more torque than it did power 740 foot pounds actually no. <laughs> anyways we took it to the dyno the other day we had to drive to sykeston which from us is about uh, close to three hours two hours 45 minutes or so towing a trailer in my other truck towing it on the trailer with my other truck it was pitch black basically almost the whole way down there so we didn't really film that much of it but we do have some clips of it on the dyno and here's the first one As you saw in that clip, uh, it made 339 horsepower on the first pull to the wheel, and that's on like pump gas, uh, 91 pump gas. I contacted the, the owner of the truck. Like when I bought the truck, it was already had long tubes on it and it had already been tuned, and it made 333 at the wheel before. So it picked up six horsepower on a tune just to basically make it run right, which that's so whatever, you know, that's okay. Then. The next pool, which you're going to see here. So in that clip, it made 345, Michael? 45. It made 345, that and was. it was basically all even on torque. Like, it was only a couple pounds higher on torque on all the pulls, so it made probably like 350-something, I believe. Somewhere. Uh, we had one, I don't know which pull it was, I don't even want to say that, but anyways, uh, so it made 345, is that what you said? Okay, so it made 345 on the second pull after we played with some, getting the injector timing right and the uh, ignition timing and whatever he was doing. I think he, I believe actually said he timed, he set it up to where it was all zero on the mm -hmm. timing, and then at the end when he started adding it, it started making more power. So basically that's like set up now, ready to start tuning it for adding some timing and stuff, and it is a... Uh, it is a variable valve timing cam, so it still has the phaser and everything on. So you're able to do like timing advance and you can adjust the cam, the valve timing too. So it has double timing action, if that's how it works. I don't really understand that quite, but anyways, then on the next pool, which you'll see. picked up three made 348 and I think that was just like some small little changes but it's it's going in the right direction so a little bit better that was our max on pump gas also okay and yeah. the truck was actually nice on the dyno because the way the tuner did it he only added like two degrees of timing per pool yeah which turns is four because of the cam Correct. rotation twice to the crank well, at zero degrees of time just complete zeros all across the map the truck made the most down low yeah then which the next is expected the next pull, it made the most through the mid-range whenever he added like two degrees. And then the last pull on pump gas was four degrees, I believe. And which it made the most which, up top. Which is, which is eight. Right. Yeah. And it made the most up top there, which was nice. I thought that was pretty neat about this truck. I know a lot of other dyno videos I've seen, every number is all over the place whenever they start changing timing and shit. On yeah. this one, it, it was just the power constant. curve looks very good. Like it's, it's it pull it makes max torque at like what 3,500, 3, and then it just it holds it for a good ways, and then the horsepower crosses over and it starts tapering off. But it pretty much makes like max torque like 3,500, and it carries it a good bit. So I mean, it feels it feels a lot faster for sure. I don't think it fell off until 6,500. 
Maybe. Power. Yeah, I'm not sure. On exactly. horsepower numbers. It shows it in the it sheet. It shows it in your dyno sheet. Okay, so uh, uh, fourth, you can say that we mixed in E. On the bit. on the fourth pull, he we I brought five gallons of E85 with me because that's a flex fuel truck from the factory. It's uh, set up for that. So on the fourth pull, I brought five gallons of 85 with me or with us. We took it and I put it in a truck and it had like a little around a quarter of a tank of gas in it, like just 91. So it was like 40% ethanol content. And the tuner told me that 50% you gain pretty much all the gains you're going to get out of it. So a little lower than 50%, but it picked up quite a bit. What did it make on E? Uh, on, on the, the first very pool? first E85 pull, it made 354 horse. 354. So it picked up, let's call it five horsepower. Right. Then on the very last pool, uh, the E mixed in a little better and he adjusted some stuff for the E and it made 366.9, so 367 and 375 torque at the wheel. It runs good. I mean, it picked up 30, was that 33 horsepower from like the most mild cam you can buy for those trucks. Like it's the stage base, stage one tiny baby cam that you can put in them, even though it sounds kind of rowdy. Mm -hmm. No, that was one thing the tuner did say that that truck sounds mean. It sounds and it, it does. It, it sounds like it has the nastiest cam in it, but <laughs> it has a stage one truck cam. It's and it's all special. all stock under that. It's like it all it has is it has stock valves, but it has Brian Tooley like 660 lift springs or something, and then titanium keepers and retainers and stuff. So the only thing other than the cam inside the motor is like valve springs. It's all stock, stock head, stock injectors, stock intake manifold. None of it is ported. Nothing. It, it makes pretty good power for for what I you know for, for what I think it's about you know, and it feels way better than it did before. And then after all the dyno pulls, me and the tuner, we went and drove around, and he adjusted like some shift points and stuff. And he noticed right away from two to three, it has a flare when it shifts into third gear. And he says that maybe the clutches got glazed or some point, whatever. But the guy I bought the truck from, I've seen plenty of videos of it doing burnouts before I owned it and stuff. So I don't think it had like a super easy life. It doesn't have a ton of miles on it, but it definitely was kind of a toy, which is what it is for me too. So it doesn't really bother me too much. It has a little flare. If it gets like pretty bad, I might put a built transmission in it or have that one fixed up or something we'll see so yeah we drove around i drove around with the tuner a little bit and he adjusted some shift points and it runs really well so there you go everybody there's the purple truck and if when you heard it start up it even starts weirder now like, <laughs> it sounds really weird it, it's really cold i think it's like what 10 degrees or yeah, 12 it's... degrees or something and it still has 85 in it so it cranks a long time and it starts and it runs goofy, but I like it a lot. It's really cool. It's fun to drive. There'll be a lot of us videos of us probably replacing tires on it a bench, I bet, and then racing Spencer's F-150, which you guys still haven't seen yet, but we do plan on uh, lowering it soon. He's got a lowering kit that he's been sitting on for two months now because it's been so cold. So we'll probably have a video of that. And the video was racing each other, which they'll probably still almost beat me. Okay, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on how my truck is slow. At least it's a comment. <laughs> it's a comment. <laughs> Hope everybody has a great day. Peace out.